All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to <clears throat> double honors to Apostle Elders in New York, GMS. And salutation, salutation to Yahweh around the world. This teaching true. My name is Maya Kahala Nagar with Chicago Branch and GMS. And uh, you know, Salaka have a cold, <clears throat> you know, a little cold. But uh, anyway, man, uh, we're gonna get into this uh, opioid usage among uh, so-called white Americans, you know, which are the, uh, which they are the Edomites. All right, Edom is their uh, true nationality. Adawa means red, All right? Uh, descendants of uh, Esau, Ashawa. Ashawa means wasted as he. The reason why they call that because their pigment of their skin is deteriorated, all right? And uh, their skin is translucent, which show their blood and flesh. All right, which give also the name of uh, Adamam, Adamam, all right, or Edom, which means red, all right, because they're not white like the background of this uh, page, all right. But uh, let's talk about the uh, opioid usage, all right. So right here it says, uh, it says, how rival opioid makers sought to cash in on alarm over OxyContin's danger. All right, it's August's uh, article about Fred Scotty. All right, August uh, 2nd, 2018. It's a lot of, it's, excuse me, I pronounced their name all wrong. All right, it says right here, it says, as Purdue Farmer faced mountain criticism over deaths linked to Oxycon, rival drug made a solid chance to boost sales. <laughs> To boost sales by stepping up, marking a similar dangerous painkiller such as uh, f uh, fentanyl, morphine, methadone, uh, Purdue uh, internal documents reveal. All right, you see this Esau doing doing to his own people, man. You know, <clears throat> it shows he's the damn devil, man. He <laughs> destroys his own people, man. Okay, if you're not part of that, uh. Illuminati, Illuminati, uh, thirteen bloodline, man. E Eat my bloodline, man. You basically nothing. Talking to you, uh, so-called white people. You eat my man. All right. Your own leaders don't give a damn about you. <laughs> it says, uh, Purdue's 1996, 2002 market plans for Aussie content, which Kaiser Health News made public this year for the first time, offering an unprecedented look at how the company spent. Millions of dollars to push old boys for growing legions of pain sufferers. A wave of lawsuits demanded reimbursement accountability for an old boy crisis now raving, ravaging, slock, ravaging communities has heightened awareness about how when a drug maker realizes our potential dangers of this product. All right. And see, for years, Esau, he, uh, you know, he was, he's already, uh, you know, evil. You know, so, uh, you know, uh, he likes to hide his image with his little, you know, all little family shows and stuff like that, you know, all through the years and stuff, you know, uh, Annie Griffin, Leave it to Beaver, you know, uh, <laughs> even the shoulder monsters, <laughs> uh, you know, all the old school black and white shows in 1950, they show Esau as a clean cut, happy, go lucky family. You know, they have no problems or anything, man. All right, those are all lies, man. Cohen is lies with they're, they're white people, man. All right, they're not white. <laughs> they're red, man. All right. Um, I don't want them, eat them. All right, white means, white represents purity, man. Spiritual purity, righteousness, man. And these people are not righteous, man. <laughs> You know, they was doing things back then. You know, as I said before, uh, you know, I moved to his house and we start, uh, you know, re, you know, redoing the floors. Man, I found old articles of, uh, you know, Esau doing drive-bys and everything, getting arrested for drug use, all types of stuff, man. Newspaper art, 1940s, you know, here in uh, Chicago, you know. All right, it says uh, right here, it's Isaiah 25, 7. He would destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people in the veil that has spread all nature. Right, so the Most High is destroying your false philosophy. He's destroying your lives, all right? And he's revealing the truth about you devils, man. 
all right? He's real and true about you devils. You're not white. You're not a pure people. You're the Edomites of the Bible. You you have nothing to do with the uh the prophets in the in the in the, in, the, in the scriptures, man. That you love to portray as so called white people. All right, you're not the chosen people. You're not righteous as you claim, and all all your atrocities that you committed for centuries is being revealed by Yahweh Hashem, I was shy through his uh, prophets who brought us out there in the streets and teaching the truth one hundred percent. All right. <clears throat> All right, so let's get back to the article. All right, it says the Purdue documents lay out how the company and his biggest competitors were jockeying for the market share. Some of those drug uh, maker sales promotions downplay or ignore risks of taking opioids or made false claims about their safety. Federal regulators had uh, asserted in one of those to the company. See that? <laughs> Even, you know, you so called everyday average old white people, man. Your own leaders don't give a shit about you, man. What you doing in the movie uh, Spider Man Home comes about, man? About Mike Keaton. Michael uh, Keaton. When he said they don't give a damn about you, man. <laughs> and, you know, he was right. All right. And in that movie, actually, Michael Keaton was actually a good guy, man. See, all the movies, man, when they talk about the villains and stuff, you real, you have a spiritual uh, spiritual eyes and ears, man. You'll see that most of uh, the villains, man, they're, they're good guys, man. All right. Anyway, it says, uh, Purdue first offer OxyContin as a remedy for moderate to... Uh, severe cancer paid in 1996. All right, and the only way to cure cancer is cancer. You how about you? I'm shy. He heals you. All right, all right. You can take all the herbs and chemicals all you want to, man. Most high heals you, man. But basically, you got, you know, it's up to the Most High. All right, but you post to uh, cure cancer with uh, herbs, man. All right, but Most High does. He uh. He says, when are you going to be healed or not healed? All right. It says, uh, within three years, the company viewed the cancer market as too limited with uh, $261 million in potential annual sales versus $1.3 billion for a broader range of chronic pain care. The company's market report said that was, <laughs> that was a pretty good recipe for a blockbuster, said Andrew uh, Codlading, who directs the physician for responsible opioid prescribing and uh, efficacy Group critical drug industry marketing. All right. It says right here, it says uh, Purdue has become the most high profile drug maker linked to the surge in opioid crisis. But other opioid manufacturers then sit idly as the sales of Oxycontin skyrocket, topping 1 billion in 2000, despite rumors of overdose deaths and, 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 um, and addiction. All right, and these, these, these curses come back on you devils, man. The curses come off of Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, and, uh, uh, that was in Deuteronomy 28. It's come back onto you damn devils, man, according to uh, Deuteronomy uh, 30, verse uh, uh, 7. All right, it said Purdue marketing reports indicate the company was worried about losing business to a phantom oil lace patches called um, Durgest. Dur uh, Doris, Dorzik, all right, as well as morphine pills. Slough, I pronounced that wrong. Well, as morphine pills, and to a lesser degree, methadone, which some managed care groups and Medicaid health plans prefer uh, because it costs much less than oxycontin, methadone, and morphine are made by a variety of drug companies, all right. It says in 1999, Mark Report Purdue noted that Janssen Pharmaceuticals, an arm of drug giant Johnson Johnson, was making slow but steady progress promoting this uh, Dorgest patches. The patches used to attach their skin, deliver a dose of fentanyl, and opioid drug about 50 to 100 times more powerful than morphine, according to the Drug Enforcement Administration. They also know as DEA. All right. It says Purdue estimated that Janssen would spend about $4 million in 1999 on medical journal advertising to, pro 
to persuade doctors to prescribe the patches of early treatment of non-cancer pain and pain in more frail elderly. That has more triple what Jackson spent a year before, according to the 2000 Purdue Market Report. In a statement to the KHN, a Jackson spokesman said the company quit actively marketing dorgistic in 2008. Purdue also spent millions on medical journal ads, and like Jansen, it drew criticism from the Food and Drug Administration for minimizing danger or poise government record show. All right. It says, uh, in 2000, the Food and Drug Administration criticized Purdue for exaggerated benefits of using OxyContin to treat arthritis, while in 2003, the AC found that some other ads had grossly overstated OxyContin safety. It said Janssen also drew the ire of the FDA. The AC calls some claims made for duragestive false or misleading, including suggesting that the drug has less potential for abuse than any other currently available opioids. All right. So that's why we call the so-called white man the devil, man. <laughs> All right. You know, it said in September 2004, the FDA told Janssen immediately cease in making false and misleading claims, including saying that duragestive was less abused than any other opioid drug in his statement to KHN, Jansen said his marketing actions were appropriate and responsible, added to it. He had to quickly to investigate and successfully resolve FDA queries. Right, man. It's basically about they want to reduce the world population, man. So nobody won't, won't challenge them when they, you know, so called establish a new world order. It's going to be short lived anyway. It says uh, more than 1,500 groups, mostly cities, counties, and states, are suing Purdue Pharma. Jansen, several competitors and drug distributors in the federal court in Cleveland demanded reimbursement of treatment costs and other conversation. And the same with the KHN, Purdue said, we we rigorously denied these allegations and look forward to the opportunity to present our defense. The growing cluster of lawsuits argued that drug makers set out to deceive doctors <laughs> and the, um, the plug by claiming their, claiming their products present little risk and really these pharmacas pharmacies pharmaco go back to word pharmaco actually means witch all right it means witch witch all right so they're witches man all right you know it says uh for his part purdue accused jazz of trying to exploit public alarm over oxycontin linked to deaths to spark new sales of doors doors dorsic it has been reported that Janssen sales represent are using improper techniques to capitalize on negative press around the Oxycontin tablet and issue of abuse and diversion. Read 2002 Purdue Market Plan. In fact, opioids made by Purdue Ripe also contribute to the overdose deaths in those years and had continued to do so in 2016. More than 42,000 people died nationwide. Probably more than that. All right. You know, sometimes you saw a lot about these numbers. More than 42,000 people died nationwide from opioid related causes, according to the Department of Health and um, Human Service. It says Florida was one of the early states to see a rise in overdose deaths tied to prescription drugs. Florida Medical Examiner Toxicology Reports 2002 detected Oxycon that the active ingredient Oxycontin in hundreds of overdose fatality abusers realized that they could crush the pills, inject, or snort the powder to get high. Many others died after missing pill was uh, sedatives also prescribed by their doctors. See that? All right. It says uh, Florida medical examiner file also showed abuse of fatal pain patches, methadone, morphine took many lives. Some abusers had figured out how to drain the Dorset's patch of this liquid fatal injected like heroin, otherwise ingested. <laughs> All right. So it says, uh, it says in July 2005, the FDA warned healthcare professionals about abuse of fatal patches in December 2007. FDA uh, cited reports of deaths and life threatening adverse events, which fatal patch was used to treat pain in opioid naive patients. When opioid tolerant patients had applied more patches to prescribe, changed the patch too frequently, and exposed the patch to a heat source. Purdue also kept an eye on methadone, noting in uh, 1999 marketing plan that the market research, as well as reports from Salesforce, indicate methadone use increase in both management of cancer pain and numb, um, malic, uh, numb, <clears throat> numb, malic, damn, numb, malignant 
pain due to its slow due to its low cost. But as methadone one accepts for treating pain, it also began to kill with alarming frequency. It said the FDA in November 2006 warned of deaths and dangerous side effects among patients newly started methadone pain control and his patients had switched to methadone after being treated for pain with other strong narcotic pain relievers. All right. So there you go, man. All right. And uh, this is this is what they uh the, the mainstream news media y'all always show uh y'all always show the Israelites basically vilify the Israelites so called Negroes Latino Native American news media they're a bunch of crackheads or drug user or deadbeat fathers or just hanging the corners don't want to do nothing you know don't want to you know uh not going to those so called educations you know industry high school college whatever man. You know, the black man ain't shit and all this shit, you know. But see, they're not showing what's going on behind closed doors with their own people. They're not showing the opioid crisis among them, all right? They're not showing the dead or dead be dead. Say, so, yeah, Esau's original dead be dead, all right? They're not showing all the atrocities they committed. I right? try to show they the, uh, the good guy and everything, man. No, man, you're actually the bad guy. All right, so your, your mask been snatched off of you, so you've been exposed. You're going to keep getting exposed, all right, by Yahweh, by Hashem, by All right, so uh, all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, by Shai, double honors to Apostle Ellis in New York, GMS, and Science Tech, you all around the world. Just teaching truth. Shalom.